This, as you'll probably recognize, is a trumpet. It is powerful, stunning, and frankly, the best instrument in the orchestra. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. It has a wild history. The very earliest trumpets look a lot different to today's because they were made out of an animal's horn, usually a ram. Thousands of years ago, they were used to create strange new sounds to scare off the enemy and evil spirits. And variations of them are still used today all around the world. Fast forward a bit, and the trumpets as we know it are starting to take shape. Egyptian art and hieroglyphics, the pictures the Egyptians wrote in, show trumpets being at the very front of the armies leading the way. And instruments over 3,000 years old were found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Next came a kind of trumpet called the bugle. It was still used mostly for military, but it was much louder and easier to carry. But the problem with all these old trumpets so far is that they could only play a very small number of notes, controlled by tiny changes in the lips. So when composers started using early trumpets in music, they needed more notes. How can we do that? We better call a plumber. To create more notes on the natural trumpet, you have to change the length of the tubing. So, can you play me a tune we might recognise, Erica? Is there not a faster way? One idea, a few years later, was a new kind of trumpet with keys. Sort of like you get on an oboe. And it sounded, well, awful. <sighs> Let's move on. Finally, about 200 years ago, the trumpet that we still play on today was invented. Now the valves, which are the buttons that we push down, basically change the length um, of tubing that the air can travel through. So now all those tubes and extra notes from the natural trumpet we've got at our fingertips. The trumpet can have so many different characters. Composers often use us for heroic moments. offer sweet, luscious, stunning melodies to soar across the orchestra. So the trumpets might not be playing as much as a violin or an oboe in the orchestra, but when we do, you'll definitely hear us. It's a bit like an exclamation mark in a story, or the icing on top of the cake. Or the punchline to a joke, or the diamond in a ring, or the me in an orchestra.